Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a simple but effective text reflection. Create a new document by pressing Ctrl N on Windows or Command N on a Mac. Make the width 1550 pixels, the height 870 pixels, and the resolution 150 pixels per inch. If your foreground and background colors aren't black and white, press D on your keyboard. Invert the colors by pressing X. Fill the background with the background color by pressing Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Open your horizontal type tool and pick a font. I'm using American Captain Regular. If you'd like to use it, I provided its link in the video description. For this font, I'll choose a size of 160 points, sharp, center alignment, and the color is white. Click on the center of your document and type out your text. To reposition it, open your Move tool and move it. Let's save it as a smart object so if we decide to change the text later, we won't have to redo most of the effects that we'll be adding to it. Click on the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. Click the FX icon and click Bevel and Emboss. Check Contour. The style is Inner Bevel and the technique is Chisel Hard. The depth is 100%, the direction is up, and the size is 5 pixels. Open the Gloss Contour Presets and click this icon. This contour is called Ring. Leave the other settings at their default positions. Click Gradient Overlay. Open your Gradient Presets and click the black to white thumbnail. The angle is 90 degrees and reduce the opacity to 60%. Then click OK. Next, we'll add a subtle arced reflection on the front surface. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Go to View and make sure Rulers and Snap are checked. If they aren't, just click on them. Go to the left ruler and drag out a guideline to the center. It'll snap in place because we have Snap checked. If you don't see the guideline, press Ctrl or Command H. Zoom out of your document by pressing Ctrl or Command and the minus sign on your keyboard. Open your elliptical marquee tool and place your cursor on the guideline approximately halfway between the top of your document and the top of your text. Hold down Alt or Option as you drag out an elliptical selection approximately this size and shape. Fill the selection with white, which is the foreground color, by pressing Alt or Option plus Delete. To deselect it, press Ctrl or Command D. To see your document at 100% again, press Ctrl or Command 1. Reduce its opacity to 20%. We want to contain the reflection just inside the face of the text. To do this, control click or command click on the thumbnail of the text layer to make a selection of the text. Go to Select, Modify, and Contract. Contract the selection by 6 pixels. This contracts it just to the face of the text. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the contracted selection. The next series of steps will be to add the spotlight. First, let's place these two layers into a folder since they comprise the elements of just the text. To do this, shift-click on your text layer to highlight it. Now, the text and its face reflection are both active. Press Ctrl or Command G to place them into a folder. We're going to make a new layer below the folder. Go to the New Layer icon and Ctrl-click or command click on it to make a new layer below the active layer. Let's name it Spotlight. We'll fill the empty layer with white, which is the foreground color, by pressing Alt or Option plus Delete. 
reduce its opacity to 40%. Go to Edit, Transform, and Perspective. Go to the top corner of the Transform and drag it across approximately this much. To accept it, click the check mark or press Enter or Return. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it 100 pixels and click OK. Press Ctrl or Command H to hide the guideline. Next, we'll brush over the bottom of the spotlight. Zoom out of your document again and click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the spotlight. Open your brush tool and make the size approximately 800 pixels with a hardness of 0%. Make its opacity 50%. Press the F5 key at the top of your keyboard to open the brush presets. Make sure the only setting that's checked is smoothing. Press F5 again to close the panel. Now brush over the bottom a few times to gradually fade the spotlight in an arced shape. Then brush straight across the bottom to fade it even more. To view it at 100%, press Ctrl or Command 1. Next, we'll add a shadow on the bottom of the text. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Let's name it Shadow. Reduce the brush size to 20 pixels and increase its opacity to 90%. Place your cursor on a lower corner of your text and hold down Shift as you drag the brush across to the opposite corner. Holding down Shift keeps the brush in a straight line. Click on your text folder to make it active and make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Name the top folder Top Text and the bottom folder Reflection Text. Go to Edit Transform and Flip Vertical. Go to the Flip text and hold down Shift as you drag it straight down until it's flush with the bottom of the other text. Reduce its opacity to 20 to 30 percent. Open the Reflection Text folder and double-click Gradient Overlay to see it in the Layer Style window. Check Reverse, which inverts the gradient overlay. Now the gradient is correct on the flip text. Then click OK. Next, we'll fade out the bottom of the reflection. Collapse the folder of the reflected text and click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the folder. Press B to open your brush tool and increase the size to 800 pixels and make its opacity 100%. Zoom out, hold down Shift and brush straight across the bottom of the reflection. Then fit your document back on your screen. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.